In this video you will see our complete cost of living. Welcome to How to Expert. My name is Tasha. My name is Sam and our mission here is to help expats or soon to be expats to start the journey, avoid gringo prices and settle down hassle free. Today's video is about our personal cost of living and yeah, cost of living really depends on your lifestyle and we have a lifestyle where we don't really spend too much money so we are really attentive with our money so we think we probably have a quite low cost of living here in Medellin, Colombia. We're tracking almost everything we're spending. Why? Because we're Swiss. So in this video we're gonna show you the average of what we spent in the last six months in US dollar. So we start with accommodation. This apartment is a two bedroom apartment with a nice view and costs 420 bucks a month. So the utilities. The utilities are split in two things in our example. This is first of all gas, water, electricity and all that kind of stuff. This will set us back on a monthly basis of around 40 US dollars. And the other thing is that we have internet here in the apartment and this will cost around like here you see the plans of uh, Claro. We'll get uh, 20 megabits per second plan which is 92,000 pesos which is around 30 bucks. So in total we pay for the utilities around 70 dollars per month. So the next thing is food. Food means eating out, so dining or getting lunch. Food here in Colombia is very, very inexpensive. How inexpensive you will see in this example. So today I just wanted to show you what a typical lunch here in Colombia is, especially in the region uh, we live in Antioquia or here especially in Medellin. Uh, so what you, can, what you get is a typical lunch with uh, uh, like Today I order steak, sometimes it comes with an egg, with a healthy avocado, with some uh, sa with a salad, then with some rice, cooked banana, and here in, especially in Antioquia, with an arepa. So uh, what you also get for the, it's all included in the price, I will tell you uh, uh, next. It comes with a soup and with a juice. So and here you can see it's just 8,000 Colombian pesos which is around two dollars and seventy cents so really inexpensive so everything is included in that price and we eat that quite often because yeah it's so cheap and it's very delicious so to cap this off on average we spend around 220 us dollars per month on food so on dining or getting lunch or whatever Groceries. Groceries doesn't mean only food for us, but also beauty products, kind of everything you can find in a supermarket. Here an example. So as you can see, we came, just came back from buying our groceries. So Tasha will show you what we bought today and uh, yeah, so maybe you will get an idea about the groceries here in Colombia. Like Sam already said, we went grocery shopping today. So like you can see, we bought a lot today. So let's start with the best part, or my favorite part, veggies and fruits. So we bought like pineapple, papaya, um, pepperoni, and so much more. So all what you can see here cost us $4. Yeah, I'm serious, $4. And what do we have? as well we bought today like a jumbo package of fish and that cost us about 10 bucks and also we bought two pieces of chicken breast there are two pieces inside in each of them and we bought two of them and they're eight bucks together also milk for one dollar and two eggs and there are 30 inside and they're pretty inexpensive about two dollars only and yeah what else um so i think that's pretty much it all of this only cost us 60 bucks in total and also this will last us 
about two weeks. Maybe we have to get some new fruits, some other fruits or veggies. But in total, like with the with the chicken and the fish and everything, we got supplies for two weeks. On average, you spend about two hundred sixty US dollar a month. So medical. Fortunately, we never had any health issues since we're here, but we're always putting 50 bucks on the side for emergency cases. So next is transport. And transport is really split into two in our lives here in Medellin. One is the metro, which is really, really inexpensive. So one ride is around 60 cents. And the other thing is taxis or Uber. Of course, you wouldn't even think about taking Uber because it's illegal here, even though it's less expensive and it's a better service. But the whole transport uh, costs per month will set us back around 95 US dollars per month for the last couple of months. And another very inexpensive part on our uh, cost of living is entertainment. Entertainment means like uh, going to concerts, uh, going to the movies, or even can mean uh, doing tours uh, with, with some friends. And really the, the very interesting thing is those things are uh, one for free or they're very, very inexpensive. So we do quite a lot of stuff, especially for this channel too. Uh, and yeah, we spend just around 60 bucks per month on like entertainment, so going out and doing stuff. So mobile phone. We use the phone provider Claro, which offers different prepaid plans. We use the one for 40,000 a month, which includes a gigabyte per month and some calls. This costs the two of us 80,000 Colombian pesos a month, which is 25 US dollars. So health insurance. We have an international health insurance from A+, which costs us 1,200 US dollars a year, which is $100 a month for the two of us. So the miscellaneous, which includes shoes, t-shirts and all this kind of stuff, we budget 60 US dollars a month. So here is where the usual cost of living normally ends. But what you have to consider is that cost of living isn't just uh, uh, rent or, or food, but it's also taxes, banking and all that kind of stuff. So uh, with the additional uh, things uh, will be listed here. So we uh, don't really pay too much tax because we invest a lot of our money into our company. So we calculate around 400 US dollars uh, per year on our taxes, which is around 30 bucks a month. Also, we're traveling from time to time. So we're planning to go back to Switzerland once a year at least and also traveling around Colombia and Latin America also for you guys to have, for having better footage for example. So in this case we're saving around 4,000 US dollars a year, that's around 300 bucks a month just for traveling. Another thing we're spending money on on a monthly basis is our pension. So we're spending 125 US dollars for our pension fund. So and another thing we do uh, is we calculate from everything we have another 20%. This is uh, safety or you could call it savings or whatever. But we do that additionally and we put that in our budget too. So here, once again, this is the total amount we budget on a monthly basis here in Medellin, Colombia. So here the boring summary of the cost of living, short and painful, I mean painless. Uh, the accommodation is 420, the utility is 70, the food 220, the groceries 260, medical 50, transport 95, entertainment 60, Cell phone 25, insurance 100, and miscellaneous is 60 bucks. So again, as I said, this is where usually the cost of living ends. Um, and this summary would be 1,360. 
Um, but as I've said, we do a more holistic approach to the whole uh, thing. And so we add another tax, another $30 for tax, another $300 for travel. Then our pension is $125. And then this would sum up uh, on 1,815 US dollars. Then we add an additional 350 bucks per month. So this is the 20% rule. So our total final cost of living is 2,165 US dollars per month. And be aware that you probably don't get these figures right away when you come here to, to Colombia to be an expat. Because at first you will probably pay gringo prices, especially with the apartment. And this is exactly where we come into play. We help you get an apartment here in Medellin without paying gringo prices from the first moment you are here in uh, Medellin. So if you're interested in not paying gringo prices, contact us. Send us a date when you are coming and we will help you out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have now an overview on our cost of living. So let me know in the comments down below in case you're an expert how much you're spending on a monthly basis and in which country. So don't forget to like and subscribe if this is the video you're looking for.